It is about what you can do, not what you can't do. If you get any pain, please stop um, and wait and carry on. It's not about no pain, no gain. The answer is if there is pain, we have to stop. Um, and then pick up on the next exercise. So we're going to gently... One, one, two, going to mute you all. One quick question. Yes? When you're doing the squats, when you're doing the squats, will you show us that... Um, Side, sideways on because sideways the positioning correct okay i will do and what you can do i'll show you how you can practice them as well to get them better all right so let's continue we're all muted yep there we go so first thing we're going to do is a gentle warm-up so to warm up we're just walking on the spot Get rid of the chair, we don't need that today. That's it. If we have a problem tomorrow, we I am going to move the position of my um, computer nearer this wall because this wall is nearest my house, where on the other side there is a signal booster for the internet. My children, who this morning said to me they were also having problems let's move the arms we're also having problems with the internet so i think it could be just one of those things again lovely let's put a heel out and back heel out and back changing over heel out and back heel out and back swapping over going to spend about five six minutes just warming up that's it Heel, to, heel and flat foot, heel, flat foot, good. And start walking to one side, let's go to the other. We're gonna alternate. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Eight, nine, ten. Good. A little bit of jogging. Oh, I think I'm losing a bit of weight. I seem to be losing my trousers. I wish. Oh, too much jogging on the spot. Gentle. We're not running fast. You can see it's quite a slow jog. Let's bang the arms down as we go. Just want to warm up all those joints. Good. Flicking the leg behind. Side to side. Up. Up. Maybe put a bit of a springy bounce into it. Warming up to start doing some of those squats. See if you can kick your back as you kick the legs up. Good. Five. Four. Three, two, nice and wide. One, good, running back on the spot. Let's turn those arms around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, turn the head side to side. One, two, three, keep the legs moving. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, put the hands together, roll them around in one direction. So we're gonna do a fair bit of floor work. Go around the other way with the hands. That's it. Turn them backwards, stretch out. Palms out, straight in front, raise up to one side, over to the other, and back to a jog. Good, bring the knees up, hop, hop. I'm doing it as a walk. You can do it as a run if you want. I don't want to get too out of breath. Otherwise I won't be able to talk to you. Instruct you. Talk to you. <laughs> That's it, keep it going. Good, standing still, come up onto tiptoes a couple of times. Let's roll those knees round round in a circle together good and go around in the opposite way 
Let's just move those arms around. And the other way. And one way, one way the arm went the other. And back again. If you want to know how I can do it so well, I do it at least twice a day. Good. Clapping back and front. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Right. First exercise. Hope you've all got some water with you. It's a really hot, warm day. Must hydrate as we go along. Okay. Make sure I don't lose anything out of my pockets. If there's anything important, make sure there's pockets, car keys, anything like that. Good, so I'm going to just show you a squat front wise. So, feet literally as wide as you can go. If I go any further, I'm likely to split my trousers. Okay, my feet are pointing out at 45 degrees. I am then going to sit back. Okay, now I know I'm sitting back because I can raise my toes off the ground. Now, I've been asked to show that side on. So, side on, feet are nice and wide, toes are pointing out, I'm sitting back. Now, as I sit back, I'm really pushing my bottom as far out as I can. I'm feeling the weight down the heels of my feet so I can lift my toes up. I am perfectly balanced. My knees do not come forward. If you can see, my knees are behind my toes, and that's where they should be. A lot of people do squats looking this where the knees are coming forward and your center of your bottom is there a lot of pressure on knees not good so one more time I'll show you we're sitting back just notice how my knee does not come forward so I'm not squatting like this where knees come forward I'm squatting like that pushing my bottom right back keeping my back straight and I'm trying to look forwards good I think I've done at least 10 now you can all join in for 10. So wide feet, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, we're gonna hold number 10 down. Okay, <laughs> holding number 10 down, there we go. Very topical. And tapping the toes so we know we're sitting back for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and come on up. Squeeze the bottom as you do. Good. Marching it out. Very nice. Okay. Second set. We're going to have the feet that shoulder width. So wherever your shoulders come down, ideally that's almost where you want to have your feet, maybe just a fraction wider, facing forward. The same idea again. We're squatting, pushing the bottom back. Just do that from the side, okay? We are not doing this, where the knees come forward. Let me stand back a bit, you'll see it better. Not like this. That's not a squat. Yes, my head's going up and down, but look what I'm doing to my knees. A squat is that. My knees are not coming forward. If I grab a stick, which we can use later on. Right. If I put a stick here, as I do my squat, you will see that my knees do not come forward, which is what I want to try and show you. My knees stay exactly where they are, but the rest of me is moving back. Okay, let's do 10. Feet facing forwards, shoulder width. I've done my bit, off you go. One, two, three. You go down as comfortable as you can. Four, breathing out on the way up. Five, six, seven, eight, Nine, we're going to hold number 10 down, holding down, tap the toes so you know where you are. We're on the ski slopes for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Loops and up you come. Well done.
walking it out. Just be careful you don't get a little bit dizzy if you come up too fast. It is possible that you can. And the last one, a feet almost together. Okay. Having the feet in line. Same thing again. Do not let the knees come forward. We're going to sit up that side. We're going to sit backwards. So 10 more. Here we go. One. Squeeze the bottom as you come up. Two. Squeeze. Three, four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Holding down for 10. Nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and up we come. Lovely. Shake out the legs. If you have something to put under one foot, um, if you have, go for it. I'm not going to do it so that I will be with those that don't. If you have like a simple step or a piece of wood um, that you may have had from last week, We'll go for it, but we're going to do a little balance now. So we're going to stand on one leg. The reason for that little bit of wood is you don't have to lift up your hip and slightly put it out of proportion. If you've got a piece of wood to stand on, then you can keep your hips totally level. So we're going to stand on one leg. The leg you're standing on, just bend it slightly so it's not locked and stiff. That's locked. That's slightly bent all the way through. Holding the stomach in, keeping the body upright. We're going to kick the leg out 15 times to the side. One, two, try not to put the leg down if you can help it. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, five more. One, two, nice and high. Three, well done. Four, keeping it halfway out, we're going to pulse for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. So as not to make it too hard, let's change leg. Again, bend the knee slightly. I always try and imagine I'm a, my foot's like a duck. I spread my toes out. I've got webbed feet, so my foot is stuck to the ground. Then 10 times, 15 times out to the side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five more. One, two, three, four, and five. Pulsing it halfway. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine and ten. Good. Walking it out. That's nice. Okay, back to the first leg again. We're going to take it round in circles. Just going to show you side on because I want to make sure that when you take the leg around, notice I go behind as well as in front. I'm not bending the knee and doing that. Work the hip and I want to work the whole leg. So it's all the way around and likewise when I go the other way it's all the way around. Behind to in front. Push back behind to in front. A lot of people just do. I'm not saying you do but all they do, can you see, it's just in front. I want to go behind to in front. Okay, so let's go for it. Ten times one way and then ten times the other. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Big circles. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Backwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Yes, you feel it on the leg you're standing on. Walking it out. Okay, because we're not doing it all on one leg, we don't have to hold around too long. Again, bend the knee, holding on it. Ten times round in the circle with the other leg. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Reverse for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lovely, good. Walk it out again. You might feel it working in the lower back as in it's aching a little bit, which is fine. So let's get rid of that ache. Feet nice and wide. Let's go around in a big circle. One, two, three, four, five. Let's go in the opposite direction. One, two, three, four, and five. Lovely, good. Coming back to the first leg. Have a drink in a second. We're just going to finish this off. Okay, we're going to bring the knee up. One, two, nice and high. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Flick the leg back behind you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep the leg in front. Rotate ten times. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Reverse. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pull backwards and forwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Changing leg. Up and down ten times. Here we go. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Flicking back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bring the foot forward. Rotate round the ankle. One, two, three, four. Keep that leg still. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 the other way, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Lovely. Okay, we've had it far too easy. We're going to go down onto the floor and we're going to do some press-ups. Uh, so remember, there were various ways of doing press-ups. If you need to, we can use the chair on Friday. Just do a quick recap on Friday. On Friday, 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 we had the chair here, we leant back on it, and we did a press up on the chair that way. That was um, harder. If you want to make it easier, turn the chair the other way around, leaning forwards. Just make sure you've got a good balance on the chair that it's not going to slide on the floor underneath you. So that was that's the easiest way. This way is a harder way, and then on the ground is harder still. So we're going to go down onto the ground, those of you that can. Okay, we're going to do a couple of different um, kind of press-ups today. They're not all going to be the same. So we're going to do sets of five. If you're doing from the ground, I'd prefer it. Um, if you want to do what I call the easier ones, that's where you stick your bottom in, you're on your knees, you push down, breathe out. Here, one, breathe out. Two, if you want to make it harder, you go up on your tippy toes, knees are off the ground, holding a full plank, as in with a straight arm, then push down and up. Okay, whichever way or what you're going to do, let's do 10. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Knees onto the ground, take the knees apart, sit back, point the toes out, walk the hands forward, push the shoulders down. Feel a long stretch of the body. Hold that. Now coming forwards, put the knees together. Looking up at the ceiling, that's it. 
getting a good stretch in the lower back. As you can see, I'm pushing it down and back up. Good. Okay, the next press-ups we're going to do are going to be a set of five and five. So normally, we have our hands about there. What we're now going to do is place one hand up here, one hand lower down. Then we're going to do five press-ups. Then we're going to go down onto our knees or take a rest, swap over the hands, and we're going to do another five press-ups. Okay, so I've just tried to show you as though you're the floor, or there's an imaginary floor here, just trying to show you what we're doing. So five and five now. Okay, if you want to do it from your knees, do it from your knees. If all you do are two, it's fine. If you do three, okay. I hope you all got that. If you haven't, just ask again. Otherwise, we assume you've all got it. Okay, so slightly not side to side. One's in front, one's behind. Coming up, five press-ups. One, two, three, four, five. Come down onto the knees. Change the hand around. Let's do the same again. Coming up. Okay, five more. One, two, three, four, and five. Well done. Back on the knees, take them wide. Stretch out for the back. Knees together. Stretch forward and look up. Okay. That's enough of press-ups as press-ups go, but I'm going to show you the next exercise. Again, I like to do something different. Um, we're going to go down as though we are doing a plank. Then we're going to put one arm out flat and the other hand up. So then we're in the beginning of a press-up position. Then we take the arm down and take the other arm back down so that we're back onto our forearms. We are going to do five. Keep it simple, one way. And then we're going to change direction. So if you're pushing up to get up with the left hand, you're going to change it to get up with the right hand. Or if you're doing the right hand, you're going to do the left hand. Whichever way, we're going to reverse it after five. 